And it's time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France with Florence Filmino. Hi, hey, Flo. So this week we're focusing on what is perhaps the most quintessential of French symbols, the baguette. We've talked about this before multiple times on French Connections, but there's some exciting news to share. Very exciting news. The French baguette has been added to UNESCO's list of cultural treasures known as intangible culture. And finally, you might be surprised that la baguette, our word du jour, didn't have this uh, status yet because, after all, it's such an integral part of the French diet. It's estimated that some 6 billion baguettes are sold a year. That is 320 baguettes a second. Uh, so this is very exciting news for uh, bakers. And I went to a bakery in Paris to take the pulse, uh, and not just any bakery. This is the bakery that makes baguettes for the French uh, president. It's located in the 14th arrondissement. It's called Au Paradis du Gourmand. And there's no doubt about it, the customers there are very proud of the baguette. It's great. We're very proud of our baguette. When we go on vacation, we always check where the best bakery is, or we test them. We're very happy when we find a good baguette. It's a purely French product. It's a national treasure we're proud of. We have to protect artisanal bakers and their craftsmanship. And so when you think about UNESCO heritage status, you usually think about the Taj Mahal, Stonehenge, the Great Barrier Reef, but the status is intangible heritage. It's separate, though, isn't it? That's right. Intangible cultural heritage. Uh, this register aims to protect traditions, knowledge, and skills, so things that you can't really hold on to. The aim is to protect them so that they're not lost over time. For instance, Belgian beer culture or Neapolitan uh, pizza, and now the French baguette. Now, if the baguette is so popular, why does it need protecting? Well, artisanal bakers say the baguette is actually in danger, in danger from plagiarists around the world, and especially industrial baguette makers. About 20,000 bakeries have disappeared since the 1970s in France as shoppers go to supermarkets to buy their bread. So their fears that the artisanal way of making baguettes, well, it could be lost over time. And it truly is an art form. Just listen to the pride and the passion as these artisanal bakers talk about their baguettes. Well, so if you live here in France, this comes down to a science, but what is the trick to picking a good baguette? Well, it needs to be golden and crunchy on the outside, soft and fluffy on the inside. Oh, I'm hungry already. <laughs> and you heard that baker there. He was talking about how a baguette sings because a good baguette also makes this particular sound. It's kind of crunchy when you when you uh, squeeze it. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can actually learn how to make a baguette at home. Just follow this cooking class. To unlock the secret of what makes French bread delicious, I want to meet Yoshimi Londemen, co-founder of the popular Londemen bakery line with shops in Paris, Lille, and even Tokyo. Hi, Yoshimi. Thanks so much for having us today. You're going to teach us how to make a traditional French baguette. What are the steps? There are three steps. First, we va pétrir the pâte. Ensuite, on va diviser the pâte. À la fin, on va façonner the baguette. Parfait. Well, let's get going. Let's go. <laughs> Donc 350 grammes d'eau. Oui. Après, la levure. OK. Maintenant, du sel. Il faut bien, bien mélanger. Bien mélanger. Voilà. Mettre le vin naturel et on mélange. Après, petit à petit, la farine devient une pâte. Oh. Ouais, c'est bon, c'est bon. <rire> Maintenant, il faut couper un peu. Taper la pâte. Pourquoi est-ce qu'on... Frappe. Quand on frappe, la pâte, ça donne, ça donne la force. La pâte qui ferme, en fait. Pâte, frappe. Voilà. Ah. Et maintenant, la pâte, elle devient, devient homogène. Maintenant, on va laisser reposer 15 minutes. Après 15 minutes de repos, la pâte est devenue légèrement. Vous voyez, ce n'est pas la même consistance qu'avant. Hein. Ça ne se casse pas. Ça ne se casse pas. Ça se déchire. Ah oui <rire> Je vais frapper encore une fois. C'est bon? Voilà. OK. So, 24 hours later, what we just did gives us this mix. On va bloquer à peu près aussi duré pour que la pâte se développe gentiment. Et aussi, euh, la pâte est bien aérée. C'est très joli, hein? Moi, je suis amoureuse. <rire> 
So we divided it up into little balls, and now we're going to make it into the baguette shape. And yes. this is called le façonnage. Façonnage. C'est quoi le secret ici C'est c'est très technique. Je mets toujours trois lignes comme ça. On pond la pâte avec quatre doigts comme ça. Et maintenant, on ferme avec la main droite, en glissant vers la gauche. On fait des serpents. <rire> Il faut jamais euh, tirer la pâte. Ok. Alors maintenant, c'est ton tour. <rire> ok. Mais ça a l'air tellement facile quand c'est vous qui le faites, mais ok. It's not as easy as it looks. On fait comme ça. Ok. Voilà. Il faut rouler. Donc une heure plus tard, la, notre baguette, ils sont pleins à cuire. Ok, donc on les met au four. Exactement. Cool. Hop. Avant de le mettre au four, il faut... Donner, oui, un donner un lame. Une lame oui, C'est la quoi C'est la signature de... Chaque pain, il y a différentes queues de lame. En fait, ça donne identité, aussi la beauté. Et plus important, la pâte dans le four, il va se développer. S'il n'y a pas de lame, ça va craquer n'importe comment. How do you know if it's the perfect baguette? Alors déjà première chose, la pâte elle est bien brillante. Et deuxième chose, la pâte il y a plein de trous équivalents. Et troisième chose, la côte au compte est bonne épaisseur. So now we can taste it. Yes. This is the best part. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's a very good baguette. Mmm, c'est super bon. Thank you so much, Yoshimi, for teaching Thank us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anne. So it takes some time and precision, but wow, it's worth it in the end, isn't and it? And if I can do it, you can do it, trust me. Well, I don't know. I could I could try. Okay, Flo, thanks so much. That's all we have time for. In the meantime, you can tweet your questions at Flo Vilmino and check out our website at France24.com. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more world news coming up here on France 24.